Hi everyone, this is Alex from Salmonella Place and today's periodontology lecture is on herpes zoster. Herpes zoster, more commonly known to the general public as shingles, is a recurring infection in patients with partial immunity to the virus varicella zoster. As I mentioned, it is a recurring infection because it happens at least once in the patient's lifetime. The second time is when the patient is over 50 years of age and usually a woman. But the first time is as a child in the form of chickenpox. The virus remains latent. That means it remains in the body but in an inactive form and that's how the secondary infection comes to pass in the sensory ganglia. And when it is time to reinfect the patient, it passes down along the nerves. The predisposing factors of this infection, this means the things that are more likely to create a reinfection, are AIDS, leukemia, lymphoma and other malignancies or tumours, radiation, which can be due to radiation therapy or natural radiation within the environment, immunosuppressive and cytotoxic drugs, which are used sometimes on cancer patients, very often to always on transplant patients and patients with autoimmune diseases, and of course, old age. As I mentioned previously, more likely in women than in men over the age of 50. The vesicular eruptions that you can see on both the upper and the lower picture are distributed within the area of the sensory nerve in question. They can come up on the thoracic, cervical, trigeminal and lumbosacral dermatomes and they affect the area in a band-like manner. The optic branch or the ophthalmic branch, which is the first branch of the trigeminal nerve, is the most common one to be affected. If you see that there are optic lesions on your patient, or if you are a patient and you notice that you have vesicles within your eye, then you will need special ophthalmological attention from a trained ophthalmologist. As we can see in the upper picture, I mentioned it before, uh, there are vesicles around the forehead and the eye which are due to the infection of the ophthalmic branch. And you can see that there are macular erythematous lesions around the vesicles, which have a undefined border. Um, and the vesicles are bullous with a pseudomembrane. They are painful and tender, especially when they burst to cause these erosions and uh, crusty, um, but at the same time, weeping uh, sores. Uh, they can cause severe discomfort. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome occurs when the facial nerve is involved. This is the seventh cranial nerve, and it causes facial weakness loss of taste if the geniculate ganglion is involved. It may also cause dizziness if there are auricular vesicles. This is around the ear or in the external ear. And quite often we can also see palatal vesicles that is on the hard palate of the oral cavity. Post-herpetic neuralgia is an irreversible fibrotic change in the neural bundle, which causes untreatable pain that can persist persist for up to a year. The treatment of this disorder is a cyclovir cream, which is an antiviral cream. This can be put on the mucous membranes or directly onto the skin. A tetracycline mouthwash, which is an antibacterial agent, which has been seen to help with oral lesions. And in severe cases, such as immunosuppression, or patients with a severe systemic or debilitating disease. We can use lefkocyte derived interferon or zorster immunoglobulin. Mm -hmm.